Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Zuleka binti Zahar and this is my partner Suhaila binti Muhammad Yusof and here is our individual assignment for subject HTT 549 under of lecture Madam Nordiana binti Sukur. As for today, I will be talking about the impact of pollution at the theme park. But first, we need to know what are pollution and theme park are. Pollution is the introduction of harmful material into the environment and it known as pollutant. Pollutants are divided into two which are natural and created by humans. For an example of a natural pollutant is volcanic ash and the example of pollutants by human activities are garbage or runoff produced by factories. With the existence of pollutants, it will damage the quality of air, water, and soil. Next, theme parks are one of the leisure attractions where the community and tourists pay for entertainment purpose. All the different activities at a theme park are usually based on a specific idea or theme. Alright now, we will identify the type of pollution and the impact of pollution at the theme park. Air pollution is one of pollutants that arises at theme parks. To run a theme park, it requires a large amount of energy, which is burning a fossil fuel. This is due to power the rights and amenities, as well as cool the building and switch on street light that located throughout the theme park. Furthermore, the usage of vehicles by tourists to go to the theme park are not only increased carbon monoxide levels, but also affecting human health such as respiratory problems, affected greenhouse, as well as global warming, which all have a negative impact on the theme park and communities. Next is soil pollution, which is excess waste. Tourists that visit the theme park frequently purchase food and drinks from the stall after they were exhausted. However, there are a few tourists that throw litter including food and beverage packages everywhere, causing the soil to become a habitat for bacteria and viruses. Pests like rats, crocodiles, and flies would swarm in the polluted soil that will spread germs and illness at the theme park. If people accidentally eat food that has been infested by the pests, they will be readily affected by food poisoning. As a result, the individual may get affected with a serious illness and at the same time, the theme park will get a negative feedback that they may tarnish their reputation. That's all from me. Let's watch the next quote. Well, now it's my turn to describe the challenge faced by the management of theme park. The first challenge that facing by the management of theme park is that they need a large amount of money to paint the buildings that are getting eroded. The burning of fossil fuel to run a theme park as well as vehicle smoke emissions by visitors who come to the theme park cause air pollution and acid rain at the theme park. Acid rain occurs when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide gases combine with rainwater to create sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Acid rain drops at theme parks not only erodes the paint on buildings but it also kills plants as well as reduces the quality of soil. So the solution to reduce this pollution is that the management can use renewable energy sources such as solar energy, wind and biomass. The installation of solar panels at the theme park can reduce the amount of fossil fuel used to supply electricity in theme park as a measure to protect our earth and safe coasts. Next, they need to control the cleanliness of the theme park. As we know, theme park need a wasteland to run their operations. The plastic disposal of food and beverage by tourists that visit the theme park affecting the quality of soil in theme park and creating new habitats for pests such as rats. 
The management need to improve the quality of service and facilities at the theme park. For example, they need to make street control and provide color pottery art bins to collect materials that can be recycled quickly without raking the rubbish from the mixed rubbish. In this way, management can save time and energy as well as maintain the cleanliness of theme park. In conclusion, all parties must play an important role in maintaining the cleanliness of the theme park by cultivating awareness of the importance of preserving the environment in one step. Not only will it reduce pollution in the theme park, but it will also enhance the image of the theme park. This is the reference we find. That's all for us. Thank you so much for watching.